In this video, we'll make a brush drawing of a hummingbird. It's often helpful to have a second sheet of paper to test colors and practice brush marks before you use them in your actual brush drawing. Let's mix an olive green using ultramarine blue, a little bit of our yellow, and a bit of burnt sienna or burnt umber to gray it down. I test the color on my test sheet. It's hard to tell with it full strength, so I use a little bit of water to dilute it and see if I like the color. Now I'm going to use the drag and press brush mark that we used before. This might work for the hummingbird, but I think adding a little twist of the wrist at the end will work better. I like that stroke better, so I go to my actual brush drawing. Drag for the long bill, press and twist for the head. Now I'm practicing the brush stroke I'm going to use for the body. This is basically press, drag, and lift. And I like that, so I bring it over onto my actual drawing. Press, drag, and lift. Now a little flick of the wrist for the tail. For the wings, I'll use a larger wrist flick. Press and flick. And for the second wing, press, flick your wrist. I think that works. So we'll go to the actual hummingbird make those two strokes. And the second one's a little bit narrow, so I added another small wrist flick just to thicken that wing a bit. Now I'm mixing a pale green with a little bit more brown in it for the belly. Again, this will be a press, drag, and lift shape, just a little bit smaller than the body shape. Press, drag, lift. There's a little bit of a curve in that one too. Now let's make it a ruby throat hummingbird. We'll take a little bit of our quinacridone rose and make a stroke. The brush turned slightly to the side and a little wrist flick. And I have to practice that one a few times before I think I like it. But I think that works. Finally, I'm mixing a dark gray from ultramarine blue and burnt sienna or burnt umber and I'm going to make a little dot for the eye. And there is our brush drawing, a hummingbird. Remember, you can download photographs of the finished exercises from our website so that you can study them as you practice.